the wait's over, they finally know what those results are. They've been waiting for them because a lot of their transitions into further education will be pending uh, on those results. So they'll have conditional offers into sixth form, college, apprenticeships, and, and they all hinge on these results today. So it's an exciting day. They're important. They're not the only thing that defines a young person. Um, it's about other experiences that you've gained, other transferable skills that you take with you on that journey as well. But certainly they are a measure and employers and educational institutions will always want to know what are your results. I would say get yourself some advice, some guidance. Uh, you can visit any of the Inspira centres. There's advisors available to give you that advice, to, to show you what your options are. Um, just because you haven't got the result you were expecting or wanting doesn't mean you're not going to get where you want to go. You might have to take a different path, but you will get there in the end. So the further education colleges around Cumbria offer all their courses at a lot of different levels. So maybe you thought you were going to go in and do a level three. Maybe you can use a level two in that subject as a stepping stone to get where you want to go. There's also other options such as traineeships, which are preparing you for an apprenticeship in the future if you need to gain some more skills in that field. I would say you've done your best and, and your results are what they are. You've worked hard for them and if you've done your best, no one can ask any more of you. Take the opportunities that are on offer now to, if you haven't got the result, take those resits, take the vocational course with the maths and English alongside so that you can achieve your goals in the future.